so since we have a little bit more time, we're staying two nights here at Peaks of Otter. And it's been kind of rainy. We thought we'd have kind of a slow-paced day. So I'm making breakfast for a change. We're going to have some pancakes. I made bacon before we left. I made a pound of bacon. And so I'm just putting it in the pan, letting the fat render, and then adding the pancakes in with a little bit of butter. And they're going to be good. We are at the Peaks of Otter Lodge and Campgrounds, very close to, there's a visitor center here, really close to Sharp Top and Flat Top Mountains, which are uh, the two big mountain landmarks around this area. So we're hiking the Johnson Farm Trail, which is about, it's a loop, it's a 1.8 mile loop from the visitor center um, out to an old 1920s or 30s, I think they said, um, farm. And it's open today, so there's people out here actually working it, and uh, the uh, building should be open and everything, so we're going to give, give it a shot and take a look. A little step back in time. A little, yeah, that's right. Gotcha. And the so cob that's... pops out here and the corn drops out the bottom. You take it to the mill, that oh, and, and then that's where you get your corn meal. And apparently you've got to do that every week because it doesn't apparently it doesn't keep. So that's what you oh, get wow. in, the, in, mm. in the story. So you, huh. you you had to live close to a mill. Mama bear with twins, and I think she was just coming to get a drink, but last year we had a week of about 85 degrees, and she climbed right in it, and she got out, each of the cubs got in it, oh. and just bounced across the field there. Oh, I bet. I bet it's nice and cool. Oh, yeah. How cool. made out of a hunk of log or something. I guess, yeah. I saw that. Wouldn't try. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. It, it has a corn shell on it. So you shell your corn right into there, I guess. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Another one of the volunteers is going to attempt to take that off and clean it up. Restore it kind of a little bit. Fortunately, when Park Service was opening this back up in the 60s, they sent people out with tape recorders. And most of the third generation and two from second generation are still alive. They have five volumes of stories they've wow, made from those bet. tapes. Now, the photos are those? They're all from second generation. Second generation, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. They had money to have pictures done. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Huh. Now, and then this was the, the cabin. Yeah, yeah. This was the original yeah. from here. And over. then the second generation added that second one. And originally, as I understand, it was two cabins. And the second generation, he clapboard sided and connected them and modernized it. And okay. Look at these toys. Oh, wow, yeah. And the banjo, and the banjo, and the fiddle yeah. on the other that 
music was about their only entertainment. Well, oh, sure. Yeah, I loved it. So, Christy and I have just been, we've been hanging out today at the Peaks of Otter. Um, we did the Johnson uh, Farm Trail and um, been, been doing some work, videos, doing the videos and that kind of thing, making sure that we get the latest, making sure that we get the latest ones updated and uploaded for you guys. But, um, so yeah, Christy was wanted to go back and, and get some, get some of that done. I still had a few miles left in my legs, and so I decided I was going to do the uh, Falling Water Cascades Trail. And so it's a 1.6 mile loop, and it's supposed to be to a pretty, pretty nice cascading waterfall. So bring you along, let you see it. It really doesn't take long for you to get to the Cascades on the Falling Water Cascades Trail. I'm about halfway down the flow the trail runs right alongside the cascades and wow just beautiful up through here started at the top crossed a bridge crossed the little creek and then this was just right below so it kind of circles around down the trail and then there's a little offshoot that just takes you right here to this little spot which is just gorgeous and then from there the trail will keep going down and you see the remainder of the cascades that fall down to the bottom and so heading down there next just gorgeous you get the over you get the look through the leaves man it doesn't get any better than this So the hike out was brutal. Um, it was, man, it was downhill all the way to the falls and then down below the falls and then down below the falls even more. It's beautiful. Coming and crossing over the creek and coming back to the other side was brutal. It's a good thing I didn't bring Christy with me. I think she really would have killed me this time because she was debating on whether or not to do it. And then she's like, eh, we did the Johnson farm. I'm good. And so I was like, ah, I, I, let's, this, I'll still do it. Yeah, it was good. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed it, but I don't think she would have. I think she would have been, I think she was ready. I think she was done for the day. But if you know, if you are going to do this, it is 1.6 miles um, downhill all the way there, uphill all the way back, even though it's a loop. You got to get back to where you started from. So um, either way you go is going to be uphill either, you know, once you get down to the falls. So um, is it worth it? I'd do it again. I think it's worth it but I like to hike. So we stayed the night at Peaks of Otter Campground, um, right near the Peaks of Otter Lodge and Visitor Center. Um, the campground is uh, no hookups, um, completely dry camping. Um, there's an RV loop that is loop T, and then there are tent loops in tent A and B. Um, they do have water and a dump station available, and uh, the sites are are pretty well spread apart. But they're a little they're a little small, not really for big rigs or anything like that. Um, and uh, it is pretty hilly through here, and so trying to find a good level site was uh, was not too hard. But it's they're not all level. Just put it that way. Uh, but it's a really beautiful, peaceful, peaceful campground. We slept last night here and had uh, our window open just so we could hear the wind through the trees. And man, it was a, it was just a, it was just a really, really peaceful night. It is right near one of the crossroads uh, that uh, goes across the Blue Ridge Parkway, so you get a little bit of traffic noise, but not too bad. They do have flush toilets. 
um, and uh, sinks and stuff, but no shower house or anything like that here at the campground.